Hey, this is uh, Brian Field, same at your radio call sign W9CR. And I have something that came up today. Somebody asked me, hey, can you uh, FPP on a Model 2? Well, uh, which is just the limited keypad, so not this keypad. So I have a um, 900 megahertz uh, XTS 2500 here. Uh, I'm assuming a 5000 is gonna be the same, uh, but that's a big assumption. Uh, but I'll try with the 2500 because I don't have a 5,000. Um, now, I'm only gonna be using these keys here, and I have FPP set up. It's gonna ask me a password. I have no password, so I just hit OK. We're good. View this, and I have a test channel. View, here's my this, and what I can do is I can edit the frequency just by up and down. It's not the easiest way, but it does work, and I'll change it to 750. 902 uh, 075. Okay, and then over to RX uh, 92775. Okay, uh, no PL, um, carrier squelch for RX PL, and then I have a TXD PL of uh, C, 54, and I can invert if I wanted to. Okay, 54, uh, edit. Five four, okay. TX NAC. I can change the NAC, of course. I'm not going to change that. Let's see, digital analog. Let's do mixed mode. Okay. TX type analog bandwidth. Good. Now, the one thing I can't do is edit this. I can edit, but these keys have no function. I can just move around. I can delete it, but I'm not gonna be able to set any of the names without the numeric pad. Zone name, and then that's all you can do. So hit the home button and it's edited. So I can turn it back off and go back in there. Let's see, back over to FPP, no password. View and see, it's 902075, 927075. Um, and there, it took those uh, things and it's mixed mode with analog. So let me move that back to digital. Okay. And I'm done. Back. There you go. So, yeah, you can FPP, I guess, on a Model 2. You're just not going to be able to set your name. But in a pinch, you can definitely do it. Anyways, hope you all enjoyed that. Have yourself a uh, good one. This is uh, Brian Fields, Amateur Radio Call Sign, W9CR.